Hello, beautiful people of the internet all across the world, and welcome to another episode. This one is all about what to do to prevent acne while you're in the heat or while you're in the summer. This is a topic that was suggested by one of my Snapchat followers, so thank you guys very much. And if you have any ideas, definitely throw them in the comments below, send them to me on social media, whatever it is, it helps me come up with new ideas and come out with new videos that you guys want to see. Oh yeah, before I start the video, I hope all you guys had an awesome solar eclipse day yesterday. I hope you got to see it a little bit. I personally did not, but my friend stared right into the sun and told me that he has had a blind spot in his eye ever since, so hopefully that gets better. So I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet. I'm gonna keep it to five major tips and a few little sprinkled extra ones in, but I'm gonna just start right with the first one, and the first and most important thing I think you should do while in the sun and while you're in the heat to prevent acne is to use a sunblock. I personally think that you should be using a sunblock that is 30 SPF or higher, but if you go higher than that, that's totally fine. Here's an example of one. This is Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. So this is, instead of it actually being a cream that you rub onto yourself this is a spray that goes on without any contact now the reason why I think getting one that is a spray instead of a cream is important is because when you spray it on you don't have to use your fingers your hands or your friends fingers and hands that you don't know where they've been right because if your friend has a bunch of dirt on his hands and then he has to rub it onto your back now you've got a bunch of dirt and it could be clogging up your pores also Neutrogena specifically uh, is a mostly non comedogenic uh, formula so if you just go into Walmart or whatever and just buy any sunblock you're gonna get one that is comedogenic which means that it does clog pores these Neutrogena and all sorts of different ones that are specifically made to not cause acne are specifically made not to clog your pores now I'm just showing you this Neutrogena one because this one is available pretty much everywhere at CVS and general stores and things like that Neutrogena is cruelty free at least that is what they claim that they don't test on animals except where it is required by law if you do want to check out other products that are non comedogenic sunblocks that are cruelty free that are made in America, uh, PETA has a great article that is covering I think about like 10 different products that you can check out. Number two, and I think this one's really important, I think a lot of people underlook this one, is loose fitting clothes. And you might think that tight fitting clothes would be better for preventing acne, but when you have looser clothes, also thinner clothes, it's going to help a lot. The reason why is because when you have a, a pimple or a zit start, right, when it's first coming up, if you irritate it a bunch by pressing against it or rubbing against it if you have a shoulder strap that's hitting it a bunch it's gonna get inflamed inflamed and it's gonna get two three four five times as bigger I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with that I have definitely dealt with that a lot and when you have a t-shirt that is nice and flowy it is going to rub against it a lot less than something tighter like for example a tank top or even tighter than a tank top would be a wife beater and even tighter than a wife beater would be compression so like under armor or something like that because think about it if you had compression shirts on and you're moving around and throwing a football and stuff like that that material is made to be as tight against your skin as possible which means it's also as tight against that pimple as possible so as you're moving right it's going to brush against it more whereas something loose like this while it's still going to brush against the acne it's gonna be a lot less irritating I think. All right, super hot weather, right? So you're gonna be sweating more, whether you're doing exercise and being outside and active or not. It's humid, it's hot, you're sweating. Now, what I think is really important is to get rid of that sweat with cold water and dry up as soon as possible. But I will say the caveat is that while you are sweating, there's no need to be wiping the sweat off if you're continuously sweating without, without breaks in between. If you're gonna let it dry up, that's not good. But for example, if you're running around, you're playing volleyball, you're whatever it is, you're jogging at the, at the beach or something like that, you don't need to have a little mini towel and just dabbing off the sweat as it comes because it's just pouring down, pouring down, pouring down. The problem I think that comes with sweating is when it dries because that sweat is a mixture of salts, oils and dirts that's been trapped in that in that liquid and then if you go inside to an air conditioned place while well, after been sweating a bunch it's going to dry and you're going to let all that stuff dry into your face so i think that as soon as you know you're done with whatever it is that's causing you to be super sweaty you need to go straight to the sink cold water uh, dry your face off and then just prevent yourself from sweating more it's summertime or it's hot outside you got to have the perfect clothes on you got to have the smile and the cologne and of course you got to have the hair right and when you do your hair a lot of times we do it with products and all the time products in your hair is going to cause acne right 
but especially when it's hot, especially when you're sweating. And this is one that I personally really, really connect with because when I used to use, uh, I think it was Crew, which is a hair wax that I put in my hair, whenever I would sweat, the sweat would come and it would cause cysts right at the top part of the skin right here because it would bring some of that wax down with the sweat and it would trap it in my pores. So all products are going to generally kind of break you out and I would say that the waxes are gonna be the ones that break you out the most, or at least the ones that broke me out the most because right when you heat up wax, it gets liquid, and then when you cool it down, it gets solid. That caused a lot of cysts for me. So in my opinion, I think it's very important either to not use products at all, which I will give you what I do instead, or at least just be very careful with using less products or maybe perhaps making sure that the sweat doesn't run into your face with a headband or something like that. Now what I do personally, because I know it is really difficult not to use product, especially if you are someone who, who does their hair, is I use water and then after my hair is slightly dried out a little bit, so it's still damp but it's not soaking, I will use some moisturizer, and I know that kind of sounds weird, put it in my hands, rub it through my hair, and maybe do two different thing, two different like handfuls of it, and then I'll just comb it into position. And that way, if you have a non-comedogenic uh, moisturizer that's approved for your acne, when it sweats into your face, it won't be clogging your pores. Now because it's hot out and because your body is sweating more, whether or not you're in air conditioning, right? Because your body does acclimate to having hot weather and it'll release more sweat through your apocrine glands by creating new apocrine glands in your skin. Even if you're in air conditioning, your body is going to be releasing a little bit more sweat. Even that sweat that you don't really notice, but it's kind of like this thin film. Now the reason I say that is because when you go to bed and you put your head on the same pillow over and over night after night, I personally think that in hot weather and in summer times, you are going to be causing that pillow to be solely to be dirtied quicker than maybe in the winter time, right? Where you aren't sweating as much. So I think that it is imperative depending on whether you have facial acne or body acne or both, to be changing your sheets and changing your pillows constantly. Now, we'll give you a pro tip because every time I say that, people always say, who the hell can change their pillows every single night? I don't do that. It's impossible to do that. I don't know anybody who does that. What you gotta do is you just gotta buy four, five, six pillows. I know it sounds crazy, right? But then you have six pillows and each of them have one side. So that means you get 12 nights you get to sleep on them, then you pull all of them off at once and clean all the pillowcases at once. Finally, the last thing that I wanna mention is water. You definitely need to be getting in water. I know you've heard that a million times, so I'll just go over it really quickly, but if it is hot outside and you're not drinking water, you're gonna be dehydrating twice as fast. And when you're dehydrated, the sebum oil that you're releasing through your sebum glands is gonna be thicker, and also, by not having the proper amount of water in your blood, your blood's gonna be thicker, it's gonna be harder for you to clear toxins and stuff, and your body's gonna release that through your face. So make sure that you are getting water in. It is extremely important. So that is it for this topic. Those are my biggest pieces of advice to prevent acne while being in the heat. And I know a lot of you guys while watching this video were thinking, man, is he gonna mention whatever? And if you have something else that you wanna add to this video to help other people who are watching, leave it in the comments below because I know people scroll through there and read and read and read. So if you have any advice, leave it in the comments below. If you have any video suggestions, also leave it in, this, in the comments below. I appreciate the hell out of you guys watching me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week.